Hello and welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, nice to meet you. My name is Reija and I love makeup. I love colorful makeup. I also like neutrals every now and then. Like today I have a neutral look with the twist with the blue. Very revolutionary. But anyway, today we are doing uh, mini reviews of uh, the base products, that, well, basically any, everything else except eyeshadow palettes uh, that I have been testing lately because I just did the uh, eyeshadow palette mini reviews. Just want to let you know that uh, I didn't film this eye look. It's my first look with the new Uden's Eye uh, collection uh, and I used the Lo uh, Lawrence palette, the Sea Talk palette for this look. Working on a review of those. Uh, let me know, do you want me to do like an, one video where I review all of them or um, like dedicated video for each palette? Because I would like to do a dedicated video of each of the palettes. But anyway, and I'm sorry, I have to keep fan on. It's Saturday and everyone are home and I am melting in here. Sorry, my uh, the phone holder is broken and I have to tape my phone on it because otherwise it drops and I just noticed that it wasn't on well. Okay, anyway, uh, I have so much stuff on the, my table again. Uh, let's start first with, uh, oh yeah, I forgot these. So let's start with a couple hair products that I've been uh, using lately. First is Coldwell uh, Rich Repair Restoring Serum Spray. Um, I have used quite a lot of it and this says um, leave-in spray. This doesn't actually say in English. But this is for dry and damaged hair. There is added microprotect complex and infralipid so it will repair hair instantly and gives them flexibility and shine and also this has heat protectant in it and I've been really enjoying this uh, especially because I did the uh, bleaching but not bleaching well you know I bleached my hair from purple uh, to blonde so I thought I need a bit of uh, repair and my hair is actually in very good condition at the moment I really really uh, like it let me just put you a hint higher okay and then the other one is uh, ultra volume bodifying spray and uh, this is uh, also leave on for to get, give you volume in your hair and this I've, I've been really enjoying too uh, I like to use this uh, the way that I spray it after the shower and then I blow dry my hair dry and then this will get, give me volume because like you see my my hair is so uh, like it's fine but I have a lot of hair but, uh, you know, it, it go like now I used a flat iron today, but a straightening iron today, but it goes very flat on my head. So I like to use some something to give volume every now and then. I've really been liking both of these. Uh, I will also, uh, of course, link everything in the description box uh, that I can. This should be all available. Uh, I bought the Clean Classic roller, lo, roller, roller Ball Layering Set. Uh, it has warm cotton, skin and rain. So these are little, uh, like, that you can test the uh, 
scents and then layer them also. So this has these have five milliliters in them. So here's the skin is the uh, one of these, which is actually my favorite of them. It's called uh, skin. So top notes are bergamot, orange blossom and honeysuckle. Middle notes are warm skin accord, vanilla orchid, uh, sun-kissed peony. And base notes are salted uh, praline, fresh musks and white cedar wood. And that's, that's actually, I, I'm very bad at describing scents, but I've really, really been in, enjoying it. It's, it's like a fresh, fresh scent. Like, uh, you know, I, I love the K, KLA uh, perfumes that I have, but they are like more like an um, richer and well, not maybe richer, but they're like more like an evening type of scents. And these, the clean uh, scents, are more like an uh, everyday scents. And I really like the skin one. And then I have the warm cotton and rain. And I actually bought it because of the rain. Because Angelica Nyquist loves it and I really like it too, but uh, the skin turned out to be my favorite. Uh, so the rain uh, top notes are bergamot, chilled cucumber and water lily, and middle notes are dewy white flowers, cyclamen and muguet, and base notes are patchouli, rainforest, vetiver, and clean masks and it really does uh, smell like a forest after rain it's very fresh and I really like it uh, the, both of those and then the warm cotton <clears throat> I should have been better prepared and I'm thinking of uh, trying some other scents from them too they sound interesting my nose is so itchy again. So the warm cotton uh, top notes are aldehydes, ginger, water accord. Middle notes, mint green, pepper and floral accord. And base notes are musk, incense and vetiver. Uh, so yeah, I've been really enjoying this and uh, I'm probably at some point gonna buy bigger versions versions of the skin and the rain because they are very nice scents. Okay, now we can move to I actually need to write the clean in here. So I remember to link them to you. So I'm probably going to link you the uh, the um a set that I bought it in the layering set and then then the um them uh, singular it's so hard to speak today okay then we'll go to uh, to some um, actually let's take this um one skincare item that I have this is the um uh, uh, Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules Line Erasing Night Serum. I got uh, this from my uh, advent calendar that I got from Coco Panda. Uh, so this says visibly diminishes the look of fine lines and wrinkles with encapsulated retinol and ceramides sealed for freshness and potency. Use nightly and discover remarkable smoother texturized, uh, smoother retexturized and less line, lined skin. Uh, preservative and fragrance free, clinically and dermatologist tested. Uh, these are like in a small capsules that you like twist open, and then you have the uh, one capsule that has the like. Uh, there you can see in the packaging 
um, I didn't see any difference. Of course, there wasn't enough to use for a whole month. That would need to uh, the skin to uh, go through every uh, to go through the uh, the new skin cells to the surface. Um, it felt very. I don't know. It felt. It felt like a film or, you know, some layer on top of your face that, um, I don't know how to explain. It kind of felt like a silicone in my skin, on top of my skin um, and in my hands. I, did, I didn't like the feel of this. this and like I said, I didn't notice any difference compared to my other uh, normal retinol that I'm using. So, not going to buy that. I'm sorry, my mouth gets dry. Uh, then we have one primer. Let's start with that. So, I bought the Huda Beauty Glowish Blur Jam Silicone Free. Uh, a smoothing primer and I've been really enjoying this. I have tested it with few found, um, well, many foundations that I have and the only one that it actually doesn't work with is the Beauty Act foundations um, which I've noticed before that they don't work with other brand primers and setting sprays except them their own. So that's that wasn't surprise to me that this didn't work with it, but otherwise it's been really nice. I don't actually have it on today because uh, I wanted to test the creeping primer with something that I'm going to show you in a sec. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this. Um, the texture is very interesting. This is nice also that the spatula that comes with it, you can put it inside and it fits there. So you don't lose it. Uh, the texture is very interesting. It's like it it looks like frosted glass basically. And as you can see, I've used it quite a lot, and really been liking it um, this far. So, actually, do I have the claims in here? No. I'm going to um, tell you the claims of it. Uh, so this says instantly smoothing matte and breathing uh, primer that is silicone free and full of skin loving ingredients that provide moisture uh, for all day and 12 hour smoothing um, impact. It has rose water, uh, pear and cactus uh, flower, mm, I don't know the word, uh, that um, freshens the skin, increases moisture and keeps the protection and elongates the make makeup up to 12 hours. You can, uh, you can use it many ways. You can use it alone, under makeup, uh, and on top of makeup to get uh, um, fresh and smooth skin. I haven't used it on top of the makeup. It's also fragrance-free, vegan, uh, no alcohol, and suits every skin type. That's the claims. And yes, I've been really enjoying it. It smooths, uh, especially with the Fenty Ease drops that I'm going to uh, talk about soon. It works very well. My skin is never looked better with, uh, than with these two. So yeah, I've been really enjoying it and it's, um, uh, I think it's worth the price. I really do think it's worth the price. So then we have two foundations. Like I said, I have the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. Uh, mine is in the shade 4. So now we have to find it too and read you the claims. So this says that uh, Ease Drop uh, Foundation uh, Rihanna uh, 
created East Drop uh, Foundation because she wanted to do an ease to use very uh, um, I don't know what the hell is I'm sorry what's that word and well uh, the foundation that will uh, um, even your skin tone and gives you the blurring effect it has Hydra Blend Complex uh, and it's perfect uh, foundation without faint, fa uh, I mean makeup, no, make, makeup no makeup look. And in the situation where you want to give an illusion that your makeup, makeup hasn't taken a long time. And it has 25 shades. So... It says it's light to medium coverage and smooth complex and you can use fingers or brush to use it. I use sponge and it sweat proof and waterproof. That's the claims. But yeah, I've been, I've been, I'm sorry. I have to like <laughs> translate from Finnish to English. So, uh, and I can't always know the words but yeah I've been really my skin has never looked better I have it on now uh, the, uh, very interesting I'm very red now because I'm so hot but the interesting thing about this is it's very light coverage but it still is, smooths the skin to very nicely so that um, it looks uh, well evens the skin tone very nicely I, I really like it and I'm actually mad at myself that I didn't try it earlier because many people say it's very nice. Maybe the thing has been that I haven't been so into light coverage. I want medium coverage. But anyway, it's very nice. And the other foundation is the new NYX uh, Bear With Me Blur, Blurring uh, Tint Foundation. Medium coverage, matte blurred finish. I have the shade 5, which is vanilla, and it's uh, very light for me. It's like, uh, I look like a ghost with it. Um, uh, if you have dry skin, I suggest that you prep your skin well and use moisturizing primer. Uh, I did uh, live on Wednesday with Sylvia. Uh, I can link her channel in down below where you can find the live. But I used this one and I didn't use hydrating a primer that time and it looked very, very dry. Like very, very dry. Uh, it's a thicker consistency. Um, it's not my favorite. Uh, I need to mix it with my... I don't have it in here now. But I'm mixing it with my L'Oreal Plumping Tinted Serum, which is a foundation that saves every foundation for me, it seems. So, and it also because I have quite dark shade on that, it darkens this up. So I can use it, but it's not my favorite. I will probably finish it, but I'm not going to rebuy, uh, repurchase it. It's, I don't think uh, it's that good. Um, and we have, let's do mascara. So Milani came to one of our supermarkets called City Market. This is the highly rated anti-gravity mascara and I, I hate this one. I hate this one. It's like a plastic one, silicone one, uh, with spikes and it has the hourglass shape and I hate it. Uh, I do have another hourglass shaped uh, mascara too, but it's not this um, emphasized. And I just, I just, I can't get over of the wand. I just hate it. Uh, so I will see what will I do with this. The mascara itself, it's nothing special to me either. Although I always, like very rarely, I don't use uh, 
false lashes. So I'm not the best to review uh, mascaras and I haven't t tested tons of mascaras. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't, I don't like the wand and the mascara itself either isn't anything special. Uh, then we have a couple bronzers. Uh, we have this Colourpop uh, Super Shock Bronzer. I have the shade Isle Bet. As you can see, I've used it quite a lot because I love this bronzer. It's very nice. Um, maybe I would like a just a tad bit more pigment on it uh, or then I have to light shade I don't know but anyway I really like it it's very easy to use it's very blendable and very buildable so you don't get accidents that you have too much pigment on and then you have to go again with foundation to tone it down uh, very nice formula I'm so happy that they did uh, redid their um, bronzers super soft bronzers and then the an, another um, bronzer that I has is have is she glam sunset bronzer in the shade dawn glow this is very nice formula it's very blendable it's quite pigmented uh, but this shade is a bit orange on me just a tad bit I can use it I have it on today uh, so it's no problem uh, to use but it's that bit orange and quite pigmented so I have to be careful with it but otherwise I really like it and possibly when I order next time from Sheen uh, I might order another shade Then I have quite a few blushes uh, let's start with the Sheen blush this is Lightweight matte blush in the shade Alice. This is very beautiful color. It's stunning. Also, this is very buildable. It's not hyper pigmented, but it is. It's pigmented enough because uh, you know that I don't like very uh, very buildable stuff. I'll just get rid of them because I don't like to uh, go through very much work to uh, get. Uh, the look that I want but this is very nice formula I really like it I have that uh, the uh, shimmery one too uh, of these blushes which I really like too it's very nice like uh, glowy blush and this is also a formula that I might buy more of the shades uh, then I have the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte in the shade Citrine Rose. Uh, I love this formula. I have the Silence is Golden, which is the yellow one. And then I have So Dope, which I use as a uh, contour. This is this kind of um, a bit like an orangey red. It's it's very unique shade in my collection that's why I bought it and I really like this formula like it's also pigmented but not too pigmented and it's buildable and blendable and very nice to work with I really like this blush and, and then I have a couple color pop ones I have the high school musical pressed powder uh, blush in the shade playoffs which is a uh, red blush and this I bought, I was looking for red blush and uh, Angelica Nyquist keep say, kept saying that this is very nice red blush because it's not too much, uh, it's not too in your face and it's easy to blend and it's not overly pigmented and I agree, it's very nice blush. This formula from Colourpop I really like and this shade is also very beautiful. Wait a minute, what blush did I use today? I think I, I yeah, I used the other color pop one. So this is the Super Shock Cheeks Matte in the shade Count Me In. This one came a bit broken, but as you can see, it's um, very, it's not going to break anymore, I hope. <laughs> Uh, so this shade is this kind of like a peachy shade. I really like this like um, For some reason I bought quite a lot of peach blushes 
but I really like this formula. I have the um, paralyzed uh, blush too from them, the Super Shock. I can't remember the shade, but this formula, the Super Shock Cheeks formula, the highlighters, the blushes, and the uh, bronzers is very nice from Colourpop. I really like that, that formula. Then I have the Sephora collection Colorful Matte uh, blush in the shade Sweet On You. They just, uh, after I bought this, they ju uh, just read it their uh, packaging and such. But this is this kind of also like a bit peachy. And I really like this formula too. And it's affordable and it's very easy to use. And I really like it. And then surprise, surprise. Um, I noticed that there's another compartment in here and I thought there's some kind of sponge in there or something but actually if I can get it open actually it has another pan of blush in it so you have refill in it uh, with it so it makes it even more affordable and nice uh, formula uh, then I have the LH Cosmetics Duo Dimension uh, Creamy sma Smooth Multi-Use Shadows with Luminous Metallic Shine for cheeks and eyes. Mix and match to create your eye-catching dimensions. And this is in the shade Zone. Actually, yeah, the, here are the shade names also. So the, the darker shade is Time and the lighter shade is Limit. So this is Blush Duo. I really like this formula too. These are a bit glowy, uh, so uh, if you don't like glowy, then these aren't for you. But this formula is very beautiful. It's pigmented also, but not also not too pigmented, and it's very easy to work with. And I re highly recommend to try LH Cosmetics blushes because this is beautiful. I don't know. I might buy another shade, but we'll see. Yeah, I have enough <laughs> uh, stuff that I bought. I have bought recently. Uh, then we have <clears throat> the Rare Beauty uh, Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter in the shade Enlighten. And as you can see, I've used it very much, and I used it today. It's so beautiful. You can make it very blinding if you want, but you can also make it uh, very like natural. Uh, glow within if you uh, buff it out. Uh, I like to do like with ev almost every highlighter that I put the highlighter on and then I buff it with my powder uh, brush uh, to the skin so it gives a more natural glow. This is stunning. I highly highly recommend to try this. I have heard that these are a bit fragile Many people have gotten theirs uh, broken. Uh, mine came fine. It came from Sweden. I live in Finland, uh, so it it it. I mine is fine, but I've heard that uh, many people have had broken there. But this is just so stunning, and I have the pink one in my uh, cart in Sephora. <laughs> waiting. So I I realized that when I did my declutter, I decluttered my, almost all my pink uh, highlighters. So I need some more. And, and we have whoop, a few more products. What did I drop? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, now I remember. Okay. Then my recent uh, love has been the Beauty a Brush Up Brows Brow Soap. Um, this came in uh, with uh, when you ordered the Midnight Earthy and berries. I can't remember like um, what did you have to do, but it came in that order, and I didn't try it. Uh, many people said that it's very bad they hate it but I tried it recently and this is like the best thing ever for my brows it really keeps them in a very nice shape because my brows are very uh, very stubborn 
and they don't like to stay where I put them, but this keeps them there and because I like it because it um, I don't say it dries fast, but it, it dries faster than uh, any other brow gel that I have, so I don't have to work with it for half an hour to it to dry, and that's one big reason why I like it. And when it's set, it sets the brows in place and they stay. That's very nice, very nice um, brow soap. <clears throat> and then I have to go again in here and get the uh, good beauty. I have the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Powder in the shade uh, Dim Light. So I'm going to find you the claims. Sometimes the cold light of day can be a little harsh on skin. So recreate the most flattering light where wherever you stray with this ethereal illuminating powder from Hourglass. An innovation in illumination, this universally flattering finishing powder takes inspiration from the most forgiving light sources from morning light to candlelight via sunset and moonlight. So you feel like you have personal lightning technician at your disposal. So this is finishing powder uh, that is um, like um, a bit glowy. It's not like uh, making you like very glowy, but it's not it's not matte. It's very very beautiful powder. It's very finely milled. It like it feels so nice when you swatch it, and it just. Like I used it today, so it gives you just a nice, healthy looking, uh, natural glow. Uh, it's pricey, yes, I know, but I really think, do think it's worth the price. Like really, really, I really like it. I've been using it non-stop since I got it. Okay, then the last thing that, uh, last category that we have are the lipsticks, lip products. Uh, first of all, uh, I got the Ace Beauty mystery box, so I got their, let me see what was the name, Pout Perfect Lip Liner in the shade In Love, which is this kind of dark reddish brown. This is um, very creamy to the point that I don't actually enjoy this that much. I'm going to use it because I don't have this kind of shade, uh, but it's too creamy to my taste. Um, so yeah, but the color is beautiful. And then the lip, uh, I mean Pout Perfect Lipstick in the shade Best Life, which is also this kind of dark reddish brown. Uh, I really like this formula. Like, well, I like... Um, liquid lipsticks uh, but lately i've been trying to get more into uh, normal lipsticks too and just like it's not the end of the world if you have to reapply lipstick so um, i really like that formula it's not drying uh, and it's creamy but it's not like over the top very nice formula uh, then i have two lip tints from She Glam. I got the shades. I can't see without glasses this shade. Actually, I have them in here. Uh, good habits and birthday lips. And these give like a really nice tint to the lips. Um, like your lips, but better. I really like this formula. Uh, I wish I would have taken some colors that would, wouldn't be so close to each other. These look very similar on the lips. Oops. So, uh, that's like that. Seriously? That's the only minus in them. Uh, but they're ve perfect for no makeup, makeup days. Now I have to check, like, where did these go? 
and then the one that you have uh, seen, seen me reapply are the Colourpop Muppets Glowing Lip Quad Squad Goals. And this has the shades Chill Chill Chill. Let me... Uh, Chill 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 is the red one. It's a very pretty red. Uh, um, red lipstick. Oh, I'm lost of words. And this formula, I love this formula. It's so... Uh, it's like lip balm, but with pigment. And then I have the shade... Picture of a Joy, which is this kind of orangey shade. Also really pretty, like orangey peachy. Uh, what was that? Not something that I uh, have a lot in my collection. Then the pink one is Kissy Kissy. From uh, top to down. And then the last one is the one that I'm wearing today, which is the Warm Up Guy. So it's the neutral one. This formula It's so creamy and so hydrating. Not a single bit of drying in this formula. And I really, really like this. And in the future, I'm probably going to order another shades uh, when I order from Colourpop. If I order from Colourpop. I forgot to swatch the... Swatch the lipstick from... Um, is beauty so it's like very dark red brown a uh, couple more lip products and then we're done so uh, also from the uh, mystery box but this was from lethal cosmetics i got chimera liquid lipstick in the shade transient it's a very beautiful like a purpley quite dark purpley shade like be dark berry shade I really also really like this formula this is liquid lip so it dries down uh, it's not the uh, longest wearing lipstick that I have but I really like this formula it feels like nothing on the lips it's just a very beautiful formula um, highly recommend to try that and then another home run uh, lipstick that I've been also been thinking so long that I want to try is the Fenty Beauty Stuna Lip Paint. Just this. This is actually so big that I, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. That's what she said. Uh, but this, uh, and I love this shade. It's like a very uh, neutral pink. Uh, this shade is uncuffed and this formula oh it's so beautiful it also feels like nothing on the lips uh, it, uh, it's like an it's not the most um, long lasting either but it's just so beautiful um, definitely going to buy that red one that everyone loves in that <laughs> formula People say it's the best red ever. And then lastly, I have the NYX Fat Oil Lip Trip um, Lip Oil. I have the shade Follow Back, which is this kind of like an orangey nude with shimmer. And I wouldn't categorize this as a lip oil. It's so thick and like shimmery that I would categorize this as a lip gloss. It does uh, make the lips feel very nice. Uh, it hydrates them and makes them very soft and beautiful. Uh, so in that aspect it's more like a lip oil. Um, the other shades I think don't have the glitter in them so maybe they're a bit more like a lip oil. I don't know. I, I probably 
will try another shade of this because I like the formula very much, but I just wouldn't categorize this as a lip oil and I don't like the name. I just, I just don't like the name. But yeah, I think that was everything today. Let me see. Yeah, I think that was all today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new upload. And we will see you hopefully very soon. Bye.